What is up, everybody? This is NC. This is JC, and uh, we're here to do a question everything on time travel. This yes. is something we've been meaning to do for a while, but you know, we figured now is the time to do it. Yep, now's the time. I recently watched Back to the Future 1 and 2, so I'm like, you know what? I'm feeling prepared, I'm feeling ready. So let's go ahead and tackle this subject. JC, what's your first question on All time right. travel? All right, so what is time travel? Time travel is the procedure of traveling through time, whether it be in the past or in the future, through use of a device or portal. Okay. So now, like, how would time travel happen in reality? Because, like, it's, it's, a, it's a notion that's popular in fantasy storylines, you know? Right. In stories, like, it's constantly talked about. But, like, how could it be possible in reality? Well, essentially what it is, is it's the finding of a portal. Like, they used to use portals, whether it be from transferring from one planet to another or to the future. Okay. They would do it through the use of a portal. What time traveling does is it does a lot of the same thing. It finds a local portal. It finds a nexus point in an energy grid. This is usually where portals are formed. A lot of them that are used for time travel are called wormholes. And wormholes are they're tears in the fabric of space and time that happen over time. And through these wormholes, UFOs, our government, other agencies are able to use time travel as a ways of, of traveling to different time periods. So now what, okay, now you, I think you mentioned one of them, but like what entities have actually created time travel devices? Okay, so time travel has been around for a lot longer than you think it has. It has been around pretty much since the BC time era. Okay. Uh, it was originally brought to us by the Anaki. They brought to us the arts, everything else, <laughs> English literature. Everything that we know was brought to us by the aliens. Time travel is one of those things that they kept under a secret. They, they wanted very few to know about it. It was part of the elect secret societies that knew about the ancient time travel techniques. And uh, over time, they kind of really submerged a lot of this information and kept it on the, the DL. While meanwhile, our government was pumping a lot of money into the uh, Star Wars program. This started with Ronald Reagan. And it was led to believe that we were doing this for science defense purposes. No, a lot of this money was going towards funding time travel. And uh, they got a huge kick once they noticed the power that they could use with the, the Montauk generator. Mm -hmm. Once they found out about that, they're like, okay, we're onto something here. And then they found out about Hitler's the bell and his time travel device that, that the uh, SS army developed. And after that, they're like, okay, well let's take some of these top German scientists. You got a uh, Braun spending time at NASA developing the, the rocket. Let's go ahead and use these other guys to work on the time travel program. And that's where they really started to develop it and fine tune it. And pretty much by the seventies, they had it going pretty smooth. Nowadays, it's immaculate. Okay, so now the next question I'd have to ask is, like, what are some popular examples of time travel that have actually happened? Okay, so there is a fight. I can't remember the exact name of the fighter that he was facing. I want to say it was the Irish dude who was stirring up a storm against Mike Tyson back in the day. You know what I'm talking about? Yes. The Great White Hype. Yep. They had a movie based off of him. Anyways, in the background of that fight, you can see a gentleman holding up a cell phone. It looks just like a Samsung Galaxy. Yep. Well, and then there's some other examples too, like that like I remember. So yeah. there, there was one where the, the guy, like from like the 1940s picture, like everyone's dressed nicely in suits. Right. He's in like a, like a t-shirt, like a modern looking t-shirt, right. modern looking sunglasses. Yep. He looks totally out of place. Walks right by these kids who look like they'd be heading to the, the cafe. He does. Yeah. No, totally. And then there was the Oh, don't forget about that outtake that was included in the Charlie Chaplin film. Yes. The, the, the um, circus. Yes. They said it was an opera singer working on their tone. No, this was somebody holding a cell phone in a 1930s picture, holding a cell phone and walking down the street talking on it. Mm -hmm. Well, because you can see her mouth moving. Yes. And then they're like, no, that's just an opera singer working on their tune. No, no, that's not. So, and even the pictures, there's pictures of Jay-Z. From 1950. Yes. You know? And then you got even paintings of Keanu Reeves from the 1850s. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> There's shit out there, folks. Just check out Celebrity Time Travel. You'll see that these guys, they really get out there. And then you even have 
modern day celebrities like Post Malone. Mm -hmm. He talked about time travel. He's like, hey, man, I've seen it. You know what it basically is? He took a piece of paper and folded it in half, Mm -hmm. essentially meaning that you take two nexus points and you simply loop them together Mm -hmm. and join them. You don't do a straight line. You bring the lines together by looping the fabric. It's almost like if like the past is resonating at a certain frequency and the present is resonating at a certain frequency. Yeah. You merge them. Merge them. That's all you have to do. Wow. Yeah. And they figured out how to do that flawlessly by this point. So like I would imagine like our like top secret programs within our government are able to do that. Oh yeah. Well beyond skunk works. Well, apparently they have this one thing called the elevator that they use for earth to Mars. Okay. That what they do is they get on the elevator, they step on, looks like your standard military silver elevator. Okay. And they step off and they're on Mars. So what it is, it's a transporter that pretty much flawlessly transports them to Mars without the whole yeah. Star Trek yeah. molecule beam bullshit, you know, that, no, you just transport. Boom. Wow. Yeah. So uh, that would lead me to believe that they possibly have something like that for time travel. In other words, it probably opens up a wormhole. Right? So rather than actually breaking down the matter and rebuilding it, they just open up a wormhole and send them there. What they're doing is they're working off the wormholes that already exist. Okay. Yeah. Because there's a ton of them, and they know where they're at. So they know where to tap into. That's why they have secure locations. Like one of the locations, if you noticed, is where the UN headquarters is on top of Mount Hermon. Mm-hmm. Mount Hermon is a very important biblical structure because that's where Lucifer and the angels took their last oath. So, and that is also a portal they're basically guarding. So, with all that being that, what you just said, why all of a sudden now is time travel beginning to be like time travel and like UFO videos from the Pentagon? Why is all this stuff being released now? Predictive programming. Ah. They're getting people ready. Yep. That's what they do, folks, because they know that most of the nation are mindless zombies who just want to stare at the TV. So since they want to stare at the TV, they're going to give them something to think about. <laughs> yeah. And something to store in the back of their head. Okay. With that being said, where do you see time travel going? I see it going to even further Mandelian effects. I mean, just with the fact that there was a tweet that I posted that showed Captain America from 2011. So you had to figure that the production was probably around 2009 when they did this. Mm -hmm. So 2009, Captain America, they're filming this, and they had on one side a poster of Corona beer, and on the other side a virus. And this is in Times Square, mind you. And then they also had a little square that said, by George, we did it. Uh (laughs) So you, you had to think that... They went into the future and they saw how the coronavirus was going to play out. Mm -hmm. And then once they got confirmation that this was going to work out in their favor, they went ahead and they kind of predicted programmed that right into there. Mm -hmm. And that's what they do a lot of times is I think that that's why there's been so many Mandela effects, especially since the 80s. I've seen a shitload. Mm -hmm. And the reason why is because these guys are changing a lot of the future. So what they're doing basically is that they're they're creating a butterfly effect too where it's like the Ford logo. Yeah. When I was a kid, it didn't have the curly at the end. And I'm the same thing with Berenstein Bears. I was just going to say that. It used to be Berenstein. Right. Now it's Berenstein. Yeah. What happened? Something happened. Yeah. They're changing shit left and right, folks. There are a ton of examples. If you ever want to look for all of them, just type in Mandela Effect on Google. Yes. You will see what we mean. Because they have been fucking with time for a long time now, folks. A long time. They pretty much are the masters of time and space. And once you play God, that's when you invite God down to the planet. And it's going to happen soon, folks. Yes. Any more questions about time travel? We pretty much hit that fucker, hit that fucking nail on the head. If you want to see further proof of time travel... And what has already come true. I already mentioned Back to the Future Part 2. Check that out. There's like a list out there of 20 things from Back to the Future 2 that we now have. Yeah. That they pretty much accurately predicted. I mean, sure, we don't have the flying cars and the hoverboards. Well, we we kind of have the hoverboards, but yeah. they're not nationally available yet. No. But still. They will be. Still. They hit the nail on the head on a lot of shit. So check that out. That has been our question everything on time travel. NC. JCN. Peace out.